We have a new Disney Plus MCU show, because it's been like a week, so of course we do. This one's called She-Hulk Attorney at Law, and I'm gonna react to the trailer. First thoughts right out of the gates though, the only TV show that should have Attorney at Law at the end is Harvey Birdman. Look it up. Okay, the trailer starts with stock city footage, which you can find in like 90% of comic book superhero movies. <laughs> For those of you complaining that Disney's too progressive, let me just point out that the first shot of She-Hulk is her ass. They still know what sells. Alright, we have our first shot of Jennifer Walters, played by Tatiana Maslany. As a side note, this actress was in Orphan Black, she played multiple different characters. Fantastic first couple seasons of that show until it goes completely off the rails and I lost interest. But the actress, Tatiana, incredible performance there. So, I'm excited to see her in this for the little excitement I have for this property. For the four of you that read the She-Hulk comic, you might be familiar with how she gets her powers. I have no idea. Trailer doesn't really tell me. From the looks of it, she was in a car crash and uh, Hulk is giving her gamma radiation or something, a, a transfusion of whatever he's got in him, and that's gonna make her turn into a green mean fighting machine. We'll find out though in the actual show, but that's just what I'm kind of getting from this. I don't know if she arrived at her cousin Mark Ruffalo's house naked, washed up on the beach shore, or what, but the outfit she's wearing is one of the most unflattering things I've ever seen. And I once tried to pull off a fedora with the muscle tee. Okay, she appears to be in a laboratory of sorts. Bruce Banner is firing up a wall of saws that he just for some reason has. And she's gonna stop him with the power of strength. This kind of looks to have a bit of a Shrek-Fiona dynamic, where Bruce Banner is the comic relief, the dumb oaf, and Fiona might do some impressive fighting things here and there. It's hard to tell, this trailer hasn't really given me much yet. Let's continue. Oh my god, freeze this. What am I... That is some horrific CG going on. That's like bottom-tier Pixar getting put into a live-action show. That, that needs some cleanup. Oof, let's freeze this too, what? There's something really off about this. It looks like she's seriously just projected in front of a green screen. I know it's CG, but it doesn't mesh with the background at all. Where, where's this light source even coming from? Something about the shadow and the lighting just doesn't feel right. Your ass looks crazy right now. Okay, a woman acknowledges her great ass, which is how the trailer started, so we're just all in. We're just all in on that Shrek ass. Okay, now we have a play on words. They said, you will like her when she's angry, which is the opposite of the Incredible Hulk because he destroys stuff, he smashes. And here, let's find out what she's gonna do when she's angry. She breaks her stilettos and flips a guy over her shoulder. Not the most exciting action sequence, but uh, there's more trailer to be had. Oh, I'm not a superhero. Yikes. Ang Lee's Hulk looks better with the jumping and the CG. What is happening with Disney? They are taxing the shit out of these animation departments. There's no way they can keep up with the massive amount of stuff coming out. And, and this is the product. This is the, the result. There's a part of me that also doesn't care because this is a TV show and it's clearly meant to be more playful and silly. So I don't need top tier special effects. But man, uh, th that's really rough looking. Couple more shots and teases of what I imagine are bottom tier villains in the MCU at this point and a sprinkling of, is that is that Abomination? I really don't know. It looks like Abomination. Um, here's our title and then we have one more final hopeful joke to end this thing out. Looks like she's embraced her form and she's dating. And the final shot is her carrying her Romeo into the bedroom, I would imagine is the, is the context here. It's a Disney show so they're Definitely not going to show them bone, although one can dream. I'm having a hard time understanding who the demographic is for this one. <laughs> kind of the, the Ally McBeal audience. Remember Ally McBeal came out in the, in the 90s, I think? I, I never watched it. It didn't look like it was for me. Neither does this. But I really, truly don't understand who they're going after with the show uh, of this caliber. Uh, Middle-aged women? Like, maybe? What? I, I don't know. This trailer is telling me a couple things though. One, not a lot of action. Two, the action we get is probably going to be pretty bad based on the, the CG uh, and just some of the cinematography, which is nothing good. I mean, this is very generic looking stuff. And finally, the tone I'm getting from this trailer is it's going to be kind of like Hawkeye, where you're going to have the mentor-mentee relationship, 
she's gonna screw up, he's gonna teach her. Once again, it's the original Avenger training the new one. The first impression is not a good one for me, but I'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about this trailer. Does it do anything for you, or are you like me, where you're just kind of wishy-washy going through these MCU properties now, but it seems like the best is behind them? Uh, let me know. Like the video if you had a good time. If you're new here, maybe think about getting angry and smashing that subscribe button as I post a lot of movie and TV show related content here all the time. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go back online and see if Disney announced 16 more MCU TV shows I have to talk about. I did actually hear they're going to make an Agent Peggy Carter TV show. I don't know if that's been confirmed as fact or if it's just hearsay right now, but if it really is the case, then... Wow, we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for superheroes, aren't we? Does Marvel not have anything better? Where are the X-Men? Where are the X-Men? Give me something good again. Give me something interesting.